welcome back to my garden. My name is Katie and I am a home gardener in zone five. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about this obelisk that my husband Lewis built for me. I have been trying really hard this year to find ways to rabbit proof my yard, especially my roses because my roses always get chewed up by these bunnies and I love, love roses. So my husband made this obelisk for me over like about two weekends ago. I didn't record it and thank God I didn't because there was a lot of drama around it. We had a little accident with a, a staple, a nail gun, um, and it's not the first time we've used one before and we were trying to be super cautious, but it still happened. So if you are making these and using a nail gun, be super cautious. When I was painting this, I went to paint this, I actually was up on the ladder painting the top. I fell off the ladder. I spilled like 90% of my paint can as well and I had a big bruise on my leg so there's this is the lovely paint spill this is a lot of blood sweat and tears <laughs> that have gone into making this obelisk and I am hoping that all of the work will pay off because what we're doing today is covering the bottom of the obelisk with some poultry netting. And I'm hoping that this, um, situated around my rose bush, will prevent the bunnies from getting it. I could just do the netting around the rose bush and be done with it, but I would like to have something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing um, than just a bunch of chicken wire. So we're gonna do this project today and hopefully we'll see some results. So what we're gonna need is some poultry netting, like this. Um, any type of trellis that is um, fits around your rose bush um, that you could put the poultry netting on. I have these industrial staples that I'm gonna use and just some gloves. So this area is pretty snug. We have this box with that comes up against it and then some milkweed over here. But I'm hoping if we can strategically place this, um, we will have enough room not to interfere with this. We might have to transplant this somewhere later on, but for now, this year, I think it's a good, a good spot to put it. So what I'm going to do is wrap this chicken wire just around the base, um, up until the first um, secured structure here on this obelisk. I managed to open up my chicken wire and I'm going to start in the front. Maybe I'll start in the back actually, so if there is a seam, it could be in the back. Um, and then we'll come around the front. And we're just going to wrap it around and fold it underneath. So I wrapped the chicken, the poultry netting around the bottom of the obelisk and I cut it off. I did create the seam in the back so I couldn't see it as much. It would be more smooth in the front. What I'm going to do is, this is a little bit higher than that front um, square support. So I think I'm going to tuck it underneath that excess and then I'm going to start to staple it in with the staple um, gun. So that is what we're going to do now. As you can see, this is quite close to my boxwood. I am gonna have to keep this kind of trimmed and neat. It's gonna butt up a lot more um, next to this once it's all finished. But it also kind of went um, intruded in on um, this milkweed. Um, and that's okay because this milkweed will grow. It can grow on both sides if it wants to. But I have, you know, next year this gets super big, like the milkweed and the boxwood, I can trim it up or I can just replace, um, hey, move out of the way, silly doggy, silly doggy. I can move this guy, this obelisk somewhere else and possibly the rose bush too. Okay, you gotta move. I do wanna tuck some underneath.
so this way they don't go digging under. The garden stake goes down. So I'm actually gonna put some staples in as I go, just to keep it taut. So as I'm bending and pulling, it will stay secure. bending and the folding, try not to step on my nipple. Okay, just trying to do a nice little even bend that we can tuck in and under like so. Start getting this bending ready. Just over here. snug like so and then we're gonna put a staple in it uh oh we missed it wow we're really missing it that's fine for now to the end here I've done my best to kind of crimp and fold this together there's a reason why I put this nasty looking area in the back is because I didn't want this to be front and center for people to see I'm using zip ties to cinch these together and then I'm going to come through and use lawn staples and staple the parts of the poultry netting that I folded underneath so nothing can crawl underneath so just a simple zip tie going through here like so and that's going to secure this from the rabbits going through it. You should really do this with gloves because they're poking. And then I'm going to do the lawn staples. going to prevent anything from trying to crawl in there. product um, <laughs> this is the first time I've done this so there are things I'd probably do differently um, maybe be more consistent with the folding um, but I think for the most part I feel secure that 
bunnies are gonna be eating this and this will finally have a chance to kind of grow bushy and big and we can see the flowers because last year it was completely shredded down to like wood um, because and it didn't bloom because of the, the bird the rabbits so here is what it looks like I used about three stakes on the bottom per side to keep the poultry netting taut to the ground I need to go back in and do a few more staples around but for the most part I think mission accomplished you can barely tell that there's netting there um, it doesn't look like an eyesore with just like a ring of netting around a rose bush. So I'm actually really happy and pleased. I have to do a little bit of edging here and mulching and weeding, but I'm pleased with how this turned out. And I think we'll be able to get a lot of good blooms out of this rose bush this year. So, um, so this is just one thing I'm trying to do, one method to keep the rabbits from eating my beautiful roses. I have used a spray. It's a repel all spray. Um, but it is something you have to be diligent about spraying after it rains. And it's rained a ton here, so I'm literally spraying it every day. Which, you know, if I forget, then that leaves a window open for the rabbits. This is just one of the ways we're trying to prevent the rabbits from destroying the roses. And some other plants too. Um, but the spray is tedious and you have to be on top of time. It rains and you know for away for the weekend I don't want to come home to my bush being eaten up <laughs> um, I did plant recently when I went to the garden center I always try to pick up one or two plants um, this is catmint nepeda that I'm super excited to put in here and then this is a butterfly bush this one was looking a little scrawny and raggly it was in the clearance section so I'm hoping that it lasts but it was pretty cheap um, and then I have my bee balm in here. I want to turn this area into a butterfly garden. You can see at one point we tried to with this butterfly house, although another critter has made a nest in there. You can see, I'm thinking, well, a squirrel had to have created the hole, but I'm thinking a bird has taken up home here. In this pot right here, I have the moonflower. Uh, morning glory moonflower um, that I'm hoping will trellis up here and just pour up over these little hooks here we're gonna have to take those off soon um, but I have I planted like five or six seeds three of them came up and then I just threw in my amaranth I had an extra leftover um, seedlings that I had started so I just threw it in that blank spot because the seeds that were there did not grow but I'm hoping those get very viney. Um, they're supposed to grow up to, I believe, 10 feet. Um, and the flowers are huge white blooms that only bloom after sunset. So they're pretty cool. We had a couple last year, but it was just so hard in the pot we had. It wasn't very, it wasn't big enough and it wasn't, didn't get enough water. So I'm hoping this will be a good spot. If we put these seedlings on the ground, the rabbits will eat them. That's also why they're up in a pot. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my video today. If you found this helpful, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And I would so appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. I am planting some peppers in some grow bags next. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.